or we are going to do another facial cleanser. This time we're doing a green one. Um, we're doing more for oily face, um, acne problems. Um, the ingredients that I selected are it's because there's a benefit to the skin. So um, same formula I've been using is just switch a few ingredients. So we're going to start with our scale and turn it on. And everything has been clean and disinfected and just make sure there's not a drip of water of uh, alcohol in here. Uh, so I am going to start uh, clearing out. And the first ingredient I'm going to add in, I added um, towards the bottom only because it's a very fine powder and if you scoop it up real fast or real high, you're going to cr uh, create a powder environment and it's going to get to your lungs and it's going to irritate you. Um, it's going to make you cough. So we are trying to avoid that. So we're going to start with that one. It's going to be the first ingredient that goes to the bottom. And don't forget every time you add an ingredient, um, hit your, your clear button. I forget sometimes. <laughs> so I have to remember constantly. So here we go. I made one yesterday, um, kind of like a rose color, very soft um, color, but it foamed really good. It did a really good job, and I just love the way my hands felt. Need a little bit more. This is the one that's a very fine powder, so I want to make sure that it's just. I'm gonna leave it here. Actually, I could move it away from here so we're clear. Make sure we clear that button. And to cover that, the next thing that I will add is my, this time I am doing um, Kaleido Oats. <clears throat> no, actually I'm going to, um, I'm adding Kaleido Oats to my powder. It's just going to give it a really nice exfoliant. And let me just move this. So I am going to add my oats at this moment just to cover this foam a little bit uh, and then I can mix and avoid the, that dust oh, see what I meant very gently You could go a little bit over. It's not going to hurt the formula if you do a few grams, not a lot. Um, I do everything on grams. I measure my ingredients and I work my formulas in grams. So we are going to use kaolin clay. And that's our next ingredient. And this one is the majority of it. It has the most. make sure to take all, everything off. I need a bigger scoop.
Caroline Clay does an excellent job. It will give you an exfoliation, but it also does a deep cleansing. I love the way it leaves your skin. That's one of the things that I really like from Kellen Clay. And not only this one, there's a lot of clays that I use, but this is one of the most, um, the one that I use the most actually. So, and it does, I, it looks like I'm adding a lot. It is the majority of the um, formula. That should be it. And wait, this container just has a mind of its own. I will put this one away. And then we're going to use a natural clay. So I'm going to use two clays. Sometimes um, it just gives it a really. Um, I want the, um, I'm doing a, um, uh, hold on, let's see. I'm doing a mix of a spirulina with matcha and I want it to be green. So I needed the clays not to have any color, no pink clay or the maroon one. That's why I went with, um, the natural clay. It's just, um, there is no color, but it also has a lot of benefits for the skin. So we are going to add this one. Okay, now that's, um, we're going to add now the uh, exfoliant part. Um, so, but I want to do is mix it a little bit before I add that part. Just give it a, a little mixed and mostly just to have the, um, all the ingredients that are powder that are um, very fine kind of blend so there's no dust um, coming out and as you can see there so I'm just gonna put it to the side and now I am going to use a little cup to measure and wait off the remainder of the ingredients I am mean, going to use an uh, orange skin. Um, this will use for exfoliation. You know, make sure that it gives us that good exfoliation. It's not too harsh on the skin. It's very, very mi um, minimal, but it, but you could feel it, and it just it cleans really good. It has a really good smell as well on it. It's just. orange so and we'll add it there and we can put that away now we're going to do aloe powder as well Here's what's going to give it a color. Um, I already have everything here weighted, um, and I have my 
a little bit of moringa powder that I used. This is the one I used. And I also have, I have, a, um, I was going to do just uh, one. I was only actually going to do spirulin, but then I decided to switch it. So the amount of grams that I added in here, I divided among the three. And this is the, um, the spirulin that I used. And I also added the green tea powder, this one right here, the, the matcha. This is the one I added. So they're all in here. And I just, and you could see as I move, you could see the green. And I think I left one gram out just in case if it was going to be too strong or if I needed to add a little bit more. And just when you mix, be very careful. You don't have to mix completely in here. Um, I am actually going to use the Nutribullet to a uh, blend. Um, You do make a mess. This is a very messy. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to put in here and I'm going to start mixing. So let me clean this a little bit. Okay. So we will pour in here. And the last part we're going to blend a few times make sure the all the ingredients are mixed and we're just going to grind it using the Nutribullet and um, after two times that I brine it uh, we're going to add the oils in here I just put apricot oil um, I did put vitamin E and I also use uh, rosemary and tree tree oil as a um, just to help a little bit more um, so it does smell like a mint, like a refreshment. So that's what I will use. And I will use that dropper to add it in here. So we're going to just very gently and very softly um, add it. And then as we go, we will check on the color to see if that's the color we want or we want something stronger. You're not going to see the green real bright. You will be able to see it once you use and wash your face. It's when it's going to show up. I think that should be it. the neutral bullet and make sure you guys could see it's gonna get a little bit louder but that's the only way that you guys could see it so here it goes For a little bit when I pull it out just making sure that um, it comes down from the sides and as I open I do like to put it on top of the container where I have the most only because it will release some very fine powder 
and you could see it. I don't know if you could tell from the video. You could use a mask, and actually, you should use. I should use a mask. Um, I just kind of. That's why I do it very slowly. So the one that I have in this grinder, I will put here by tilting the cup and make sure it just slides into the cup. It doesn't have to go all the way, all of it. You could keep part of it. And then re then add the, the remainder of this one in here and you can use a spoon I don't like to use a spoon because there's clays in here and any metal it's okay if you pour with a spoon or you could do a plastic spoon I like to use the spatulas um, just one more thing I have to wash that's the only reason why I don't use the spoon. And I don't like to pour it completely because it will create that powdery, that little cloud. So at this point, I will slightly tap. We'll cover it. And we'll give it another close. Oops. That's a very awkward sound. I know there's some powder on the way when I twist. And then we're just put again this one I'm just going to pour it on here bring it back the only thing you do have quite a bit of powders on the counter on your table so that's the only thing and this is So that's our first mix completely. Everything has been blended in, all powders only, no liquids at this point. So, as you can see, it's like a white color, not like a very, very pale, light green. So now they're all mixed in. The oats, it's a very fine powder at this point. So we're just going to put it back in here and give it a good mix. So we're going to add the oils and the essentials, oil, all the liquids, the vitamin E, everything that's in that container. So we'll have several mixings. And the way that I like to do it is I just like to clean the edges, make sure I bring everything down. There's always a little bit of powder stuck to the edges. And then 
fill it back again. Kind of halfway. It does not require a preservative, a cosmetic preservative. There is no water at all. The only water it will have is when people are using it. And that's about the water. So I think we'll do that. I'm on. on the center of this, we'll just create kind of like a little dip. It doesn't stay, but there. And in that center, I don't know if you could see it, is where we're going to drop the liquids. Not hitting the edges of the cup. Make sure that it stays on the, as close as we could get to the center. And we'll just drip. Very gently. You could be covering it if you want and continue dropping. Um, so I do kind of like two droppers. And I don't blow the air. I just very gently and I cover them again. You could either get some of the powder from the cup or just cover it from here. It's up to you. And we close it again. And the only reason why I bring this cup here is because sometimes there's powder coming out from here. And we bring on and we mix it. vitamin E it just mixes among all the powders and it just it does there's no um, clumps that's why we I like to um, blend it in the Nutribullet you could use anything that you have um, you can use a blender I just don't know I never use a blender I will um, the girl from I believe it's heavenly soaps where I got the recipe and where um, I follow her I just tweaked it a little bit um, Minor, minor tweaks, not major. Um, and I have loved it. It's just, it really does a really good cleansing. And this is one of the reasons why I I put the cup underneath it. Because it, the powder just comes out. So now that I have this one mixed, with the essential oil, that's why I use two cups. So I pour the majority out, not all of it. I'll leave some in there. It's not like you have to empty the cup completely. And then I add more. The orange peel and the oatmeal is going to give you a very good exfoliation, very minor, very slightly. Um, if you're allergic to it, then um, there's a lot of things. Um, the one I did yesterday, I used rose petals, I used um, chamomile, um, I grinded. Um, there's a lot of things you can use. Um, 
I just, that's what I've had and that's the way I've been doing them. Then we, and there's a max you could go in this cup. It's just that I don't like to put a lot of the liquids because then it will, it will create little lumps. So I like to do it slowly. And just very minor. Okay. So we're kind of almost halfway down. So we'll cover using the edges and I'll add a little bit more and we will cover I know there's powder in there, that's why it's making a funny noise. Okay, and then we just bring this back to the center. And I am going to continue doing this until I'm done with this. So I already showed you the first time, I am just going to continue doing it. I'm not going to say anything, but you could continue watching. Okay, I am totally done. I have mixed it. I'm done with my essential oils. We're going to do a test wash to see how it, the color, only for the color, just in case I need to add that extra gram that I left out. So I am going to grab, um, okay. I am going to take about that much. I don't know if you could see it. It's not a lot. If we, if I weighed it, let me see how much it is. It's 0 0.8. Let's do one gram completely. This is one gram right there. So I am going to get the water and I am going to wash my hands just to see the color hold. Okay, here's my bowl. And I added a spoon to see if I'm gonna use the whole one gram. Uh, let me get the water. I covered everything in case I splash. to take about half of what's there. I don't even think we need the gram completely. It's 
and there it is. It's as you add more water to it, you will be able to make some pretty good bubbles. I just have to be careful I don't splash all over. Now, if we want more color, I do have to uh, blend in a little bit more. It's a very light green. So, you could leave it like that, and then on your next batch, just modify it a little bit. Um, it's not a very dark green, it's a mild green but it does clean really good. And there, so here it is. And I could still feel the, there's like it's I need more water to rinse, but I just have to do it with this. So let me dry my hands. So it's a mild green. Um, you can make it a little bit stronger if you want. I am going to leave it like that only because I have to mix everything back in again uh, with the green. And I didn't use, uh, I only used half of it. Uh, maybe for the face you want it a little bit thicker, more bubbles, more um, than you could see. So that's all I needed. Um, let me get rid of this water. Okay, so I have my containers where they're gonna go. They're, I'm doing two ounces um, per container. That's actually what I filled them up yesterday with my other one. And just put them in there and clear, and then just start filling them up. So I don't have a machine to fill them up. I do them. I do it one by one. I do fill them up in ounces, um, and it has a really light, pretty, very light green, so. I do leave them one day um, over the counter just so it, it cools down completely. Remember there is no preservatives. It does not need a preservative. It's just powder. You activate it with um, once um, you add the water. So. don't do the band around it so we're going to do label on top and I'm going to do label on the bottom and uh, we are going to start um, actually we're going to start with the samples because those are the first ones that I got here um, so we're doing the spirulin the mint this one and it's very simple. Um, I don't have the see-through ones, um, so I just, I do the square ones. They're a little bit bigger than the size, but they will work. Um, I get a label in the front, and then I try to go as high as I can, kind of, there. So, they can at least see this bottom part, and my instructions I do have instructions how to use it of course um, the print is so little but um, 
you know, it's it's a very tiny envelope, but you could actually see it. It's not like it's very, very little. It is um, with the accordance of the California law. So I do have the right print on there. And this is pretty much what I will be doing. I will be um, just putting, oops, where did one go? Putting the labels on the back. Try to, I try to center them, and here's one that just, I left a little hole there. And once you put them in, you have to really make sure that that's where you want them, because you can't take them off. So, that's one thing. It's not like you're going to be able to take them off. So, we'll, I will do the back side. Um... with the instructions and make sure you are if you're doing multiple th um, items with different ingredients make sure you are put in the right label because I have had problems <laughs> where I put the wrong label and then I have to redo it or I have to switch containers um, and sometimes you can just take the label off and I am going to seal this part right here uh, I will seal that one so it's actually it's a way you know that they could tell that um, the products not being used or it's not being open so there um, then I'm going to show you you know the, the other side and then eventually I will do all 30 um, pouches um, the best thing is to do the um, see-through label so uh, but I don't have it at this time, so I have to go with this one. Uh, you know, with the see-through, you just see the um, the letters, and pretty much all this right here is clear. So that would be the best for these little pouches. But um, I will, I'm okay with these for now. So there we are and that's what I'm going to do until I'm completely done and then um, the top part of the containers um, is just I have a switch for circles and I have to look for them so I will because I did a multiple prints so let me finish with these and then we come back <laughs> 